Five Tips for Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is an insane over-the-top first-person shooter that takes place in an alternate history in which the Nazis won the Second World War. You play as William B.J. Blaskovitz, a war veteran whose love for patriotism can only be matched by the length of his eyelashes. B.J. is on a mission to take out the Nazi scum and bring freedom back to America. These are five tips to help unite the resistance and give the middle finger to those ignorant fascists. A working mother flushing toilet. I never thought I'd see the day. Tip number one, BJ smash. With all the guns and ammo lying around, it's easy to forget BJ's Hulk-like strength and Olympic level speed. Utilizing both skills in close quarters combat can save you a hefty amount of ammo. Most of BJ's melee attacks are one-hit kills, so do not be afraid to throw a couple hatchets or run and get a good swing in. You can also melee wooden crates you find throughout missions. There are plenty lying around, and they can be a great source of supplies in a pinch. Tip number two, silence your weapons. Wolfenstein has a unique element to its firefight system that can easily sway the battle in the Nazis' favor. Nearly each battalion of Nazi filth has a commander, and this commander is equipped with a radio that he can use to broadcast for reinforcements. If the enemy hears or sees you, they will call in additional baddies to take you on, and they won't stop until you take out the commander. However, the Nazi commanders won't broadcast if they don't see or hear you coming. Like they taught us back in boot camp. Take out the commanders first. So stay silent and out of sight. Throughout the districts, you'll come across weapon upgrade kits. You can use these kits to beef up your weapons and give them new perks, one of which allows you to attach suppressors to your pistol and SMG. Being silent is essential to taking out Nazi commanders before they call for reinforcements, making the fight that much easier. Tip number three, Enigma Codes. Speaking of Nazi commanders, once dead, you can loot an item from their body called Enigma Codes. After a certain point in the game, you'll unlock the Enigma machine in your U-boat, Eva's Hammer. The Enigma machine can be a little intimidating at first, but once you understand the concept, it's pretty easy. Just slide the bottom dot panels until they match the first pattern on the top left. Take it one at a time and you shouldn't have much of an issue. Once decoded, the machine will reveal the location of Nazi Uber commanders on the war map and unlock an assassination mission to take them out. This is also a chance to revisit previous districts and grab collectibles you missed on your first time through. It might even land you some extra gear that you may have missed out on earlier in the campaign. Tip number four, alternate paths. Almost every battle in Wolfenstein has multiple ways to approach. Whether that be through an air vent nearby, or through the front door with dual shotguns. Some paths might be easier for a stealth approach while others could lead to supplies that will prep you to go in guns blazing. If you are having trouble with an area, step back, breathe for a second, and rethink your approach. Look around for ladders, vents, or sections of the floor you can power slam through. There are usually ways to get below, above, or behind enemies without being seen. Just remember tip number two, silence those weapons to keep the element of surprise. Tip number five, Back to the roots. Now let's be honest, some of us never got to experience the majestic pseudo 3D beauty that started it all. Luckily, here's your chance to experience where the genre of 3D shooters got its roots, the id software classic, Wolfenstein 3D. If you make your way to Club Chrysal on the Evis Hammer, you can find an old school arcade cabinet. This is where you can play Wolfstone 3D. This isn't just a little demo or a snippet of the original game to bring back nostalgia, this is the entire Wolfenstein 3D game. Every level, every secret, all the sound effects. It even has its own save function. The only difference is now you play as Terror Billy taking on the Chrysau terrorists. It's an amazing tribute machine games included for diehard Wolfenstein fans everywhere. Wolfenstein 2 is a terrific addition to the franchise. With its amazing attention to detail, its in-depth universe, and great storytelling, all while sticking to its roots. The franchise has stayed true to its message throughout the years, and anyone with common sense can agree. Nazis are bad, and freedom is good. So for those looking for a crazy adventure playing as the most patriotic SOB alive with a good head on his shoulders, Wolfenstein is here. So screw those Nazis, and let's go save America. Well, the toilet works. <laughs>